Okay, Ezekiel, let's go inside. Yeah. Be the first one in. Yes. Merry Christmas, Zeke. Yes. All right. This is my friend John Powell, who has temporarily confiscated my computer. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he printed it out already. I wonder. Could I, uh... <clears throat> I wonder, would you mind leaving uh, some of that typing paper for me to print? Oh, I, Song was, I brought it over here. Oh, Mo? I, I, brought, I only need one sheet. Oh, okay, because I, uh, alright. Because uh, we won't be able to uh, go out to buy any until I'm really excited. So. What is it you are... Uh, you put it out there anyway. Okay. Well, are you taking me? Are you making a video here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is what we're selling on eBay. Okay. Nice of Verticulture. And a Fuzzy. Oh, you did get out of the way. Oh, yeah. Moosey got out of, cam out of the cameraman's way here. And I saw the wear. Uh huh. What is it called? Ooh, it's pretty. It's around 800 years old. Wow. Uh, and uh, uh, was found in southwestern Colorado, very near the Four Corners. Uh huh. And where Colorado and New Mexico and two other states right. meet, I forget which Utah they are. Arizona. Utah and Arizona. Yeah. Very close to the four corners. Okay. Mesa Verde National Park. Uh -huh. And the famous Cliff Dwellings. How did you um, come to possess it? I bought it on eBay. You bought it on eBay. And I'm now, selling Now, you're going to sell it on eBay. And how much are you asking? Uh, well, I, I don't want to go into detail. Okay. Uh, but, uh, I actually managed to make a profit. I see. Well, now this, I just turned it up. Uh huh. This is something YouTubers should know about. Oh, is it? If you ever want to collect uh -huh. Native American artifacts, uh -huh. you should have one of these. And what is it? A statement of release and the disclosure. Okay. It's from the original dealer in 2002. And it certifies that this item has not been taken illegally from federal lands, public lands, state lands, or Indian lands in the violation of the Archaeological Resources Protection Act of 1979. God, it's like a release form from a song publishing company. Okay. So, uh, well, the purpose of this is mainly to protect you as the owner from any possibility of facing criminal charges. Of course. Uh, it is not 100% guarantee uh, that the government cannot confiscate. Because there are loopholes? Well, the loophole would be uh, if the government can prove that whoever made up the certificate was lying. I see. But in the case of this dealer, that's incredibly unlikely. You trust it. I trust it. Uh, to, to be, you know, because I've met these people. Okay, so we have it up on the monitor here now. So we can get a close look at it. And then probably read the print. Right there on the screen. Yes. Okay, well. Dogs are quite therapeutic. Uh, just petting a dog releases um, 
neurochemicals that uh, well, there are, there are, 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 are beneficial to your mood, it can relieve depression. There are people that go around the ICUs and such, and, you know, uh, 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 they take all uh, dogs and cats and fire rabbits. Uh, to me, one of the most amazing common animals that I ever met uh, was way back when I was uh, in Boy Scouts, when I was 13, uh, at Brown County State Park in Indiana. Uh -huh. uh, we used to, uh, in a little setting of tents in the wintertime, go to the clock that they had uh, next to the their, their little nature preserve uh -huh. where they had elk uh, and white tailed deer and buffalo. Uh, they also had this very rare Chinese miniature deer. Uh, she was very docile. You could uh, pick up some corn and stick your hands through the fence because it was just a hallmark fence. Uh -huh. I guess she was a fully adult doe, but she looked like a fawn uh, in terms of size. Very small. So anyway, I ended up sitting, just sitting, right by the fence with her deer for like 45 minutes to an hour, just uh, feeding a little bit of corn every now and then. And, uh, and so is that what deer eat? Corn, mainly? Uh, that's what this deer eat. Oh, I see. Mostly corn, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, that's what all those are doing all day. Yeah. They're all herbivores. Uh, ordinary field corn. Cow corn, we used to call it. Uh -huh. Anyways, animals are just so incredibly calming. It was, it was almost like a, being in the presence of a divine being. Oh, I can understand that because uh, when we are around the horses, everything about us slows down. Yeah. It slows down your heart rate, your blood pressure, it slows down your movements because horses move very slowly. I was surprised to find out. I hadn't been around horses hardly at all until I began doing this with Florian and Wynn and uh, the equine therapy and uh, and uh, they uh, you move you learn to move at their pace and you respect their behavior and they in turn respect your needs they perceive they are very perceptive very intelligent animals. Very intelligent. So you're looking for a post office where you can do what? Ship mail package. Mail package uh, to someone who purchased something from you on eBay. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. They purchased the 800 year old. Uh, 800 year old. Uh, Native American artifact. Sit down on the ground floor. Whenever I sit down on the floor, she will come and stare right directly into the camera yep. and nose it. Yeah. Okay, go away, girl. Go away, girl. Come on. That way, that way. That way, that way. Gosh, but you're a hard dog to move. You're so heavy. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. One or other of you would put the the use auction deck in the back seat. I think so, Ben will do that. And so the grand. Yes. Makers of fine decorated pottery for over 800 years. Yes. <laughs> but if you buy it, make sure you got the legal paperwork. Right. Because you don't want the government to come get you. Damn.